You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I guess we're going to know today, Friday, April 5th, whether or not Sheila Carter is indeed alive. I don't believe she's dead, and I've been saying that since her weird and awkward and improbable death scene that aired 39 days ago. And now, a bold and beautiful producer dropped a huge hint that we're going to get a Sheila sighting or some kind of proof of life in the last few moments of Friday's episode. Let's talk about what he said and what we expect to see that will likely confirm Sheila Carter is not dead. Not at all. We'll see. But first, please click subscribe if you haven't already. All right. So you guys know there's so many giant waving red flags that Sheila wasn't the one that died that night. Let's just run down these real quick in case you forgot some and definitely hit me up in the comments if you noticed any red flags that I failed to mention. The first thing, Steffi Forster marched over to Deacon and Sheila's place totally unprovoked and punched Sheila in the face the day the stabbing happened. Steffi assaulted the woman in her own home and said before and after the incident that she wanted Sheila dead. The reason she punched Sheila, if you don't recall, is that her daughter Kelly took a selfie and Sheila, who was at work, minding her business happened to be captured in the background just by happenstance. So predicated on a photo from an elementary schooler, Steffi went over and assaulted Sheila for being at work. That's just a red flag that something is off. The second thing Sheila was wearing that night, this strange kind of sheer sort of veil. I don't even know what that was. Hoodies don't come with that. Anyway, she was in that when she came to Steffi and Finn's house that night. And then in a very unlikely turn of events, Sheila didn't speak one word. No yelling, die, Steffi, you big old bee, nothing. That nonverbal thing is well and truly bizarre because that's not Sheila Carter at all. But it makes sense if you know the history history of Sheila and someone who looks just like her. Sheila has a lookalike named Sugar, a woman that she tricked into cosmetic surgery many years ago to look just like her. Sugar was originally, she was a warden, I think at a prison, a warden or a guard, I think a warden. And she was played by Robin Matson, who was a great actress. And then she had the surgery and then Campbell and Brown took over playing the role because she looked just like her. So the thing about Sugar was that the moment she spoke, people knew it wasn't Sheila. That was over on YNR. So it's a core part of Sugar's history that she can't talk or they know because her voice is so distinctively different. So the whole weird silence thing at Steffi's house makes total sense if it was Sugar, which is what I suspect. The third red flag, Sheila was unarmed, but she allegedly came there intent on killing Steffi. But why wasn't she packing a knife, a gun, poison, rope, or any other weapon from the game of Clue? Was Sheila just gonna, what, choke her with her bare hands and hope she, a 62-year-old woman, was going to physically get the better of an extremely fit 36 year old no and again if this were sugar it makes sense for her to have no weapon because she went in likely intending to be injured or killed maybe because she had a terminal illness and was going to die anyway maybe because sheila somehow gaslit her into it if it was indeed sugar they will explain it i hope so the fourth red flag a couple of red flags here Everyone's been so smug and so certain that Sheila's gone. The scenes with Lauren Fenmore and Eric Forster, to me, reeked of hubris. They're so happy and so smug that she's dead and gone and won't be a threat again. Just all that dialogue, to me, points to the fact that she's not dead and gone and she's not going to be a threat. Just, it was, it was... <laughs> Bold isn't subtle. I think we all know that by now. They're not subtle. They like to repeat dialogue. They like to beat us over the head with stuff. So, you know, Steffi's feeling very relaxed and secure. Deacon's heartbroken and confused why she did what she did. He wants answers because it doesn't make sense. I agree. It also doesn't make sense for the cops to accept that Steffi felt so scared when Sheila came into her home unarmed, yet Steffi wasn't so scared that she didn't bully her way into Sheila's home and face punch her. That's not how you act around somebody you're scared of. I, there's not a lot of people I'm scared of, but, you know, if there was somebody that I was life and death terrified of, I wouldn't go over to their house and start some 
shit, you know? All right. Another red flag to me, honestly, is the whole thing with Kimberlyn Brown and Jacqueline McKenswood discussing Sheila's death in interviews and how she's gone and la la la. And it, it honestly, it just reminds me completely of the stuff that B&B had Tanner Novlin doing when Finn was supposedly dead. They had him doing interviews talking about what's next for me after bald and how do I feel about Finn dying? It was all fakery and lies. They were outright lying to fans. So I never gave any credence to what anyone said because they were saying what they were told to say by the powers that be at Bald and Beautiful. I discount all of that completely. The sixth thing, one very recent red flag was the scene with Deacon in the morgue when he went down to look at her body. Sheila didn't have a bruise on her cheek from where Steffi punched her face and we never saw her toes. Fans have been screaming since she died that they wanted a toe count and Bald never gave it to us. So to me, that means they were holding back on it. Seventh, the scene coming on Friday was a red flag from the moment I read the spoiler about it. Deacon can't let Sheila go. So he accompanies her body to the crematorium. How far out of the norm is it to have a cremation scene on Bold and the Beautiful? I suspected when I saw the spoiler that either he'd count her toes before she went into the Easy Bake Oven or she'd reveal himself or both. And number eight, this brings us to the final red flag that Sheila Carter is alive. Producer Casey Kasprike tweeted on Thursday afternoon that fans should watch the Friday, April 5th episode live, not on DVR. Watch it live, especially the last 10 seconds. You can see his tweet right there. You might have seen that episode, the Friday episode, by the time you watch this video. So please don't leave me comments telling me I'm stupid because I don't know what happened in the last 10 seconds. At the time I made this video, the episode had not aired yet. So I'm not stupid. I just haven't seen it yet at the time I'm talking to you guys. So I'm expecting it's going to be a toe-related reveal we will see maybe her casket burned to a crisp and right before her feet go up in flames deacon sees 10 toes i don't know i'm just excited to see this episode because i cannot imagine what else it could be in the last 10 seconds of the episode in a week that's been literally all about sheila carter other than something to confirm because it wouldn't be that big of a shocking deal if we saw nine toes going into the oven you know what could they show us in the last 10 seconds that's such a shocker? And again, I just think that the bold producers think fans are stupid and that it hadn't dawned on them that, oh, Sheila's really alive, you know? We'll see. And we will definitely talk about this more in the weekly bold spoilers coming tomorrow on Saturday, April 6th. Enjoy the April 5th episode. I'm excited to enjoy it. I will be watching it live. I'm going to take him at his word that it's worth watching until that last 10 seconds. So we will definitely be talking about this please drop your comments on what you're excited to see. And if you've already seen it, go ahead, drop your comments. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And please come back. We are here talking bold and the beautiful seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.